The 17 people who lost their lives in the Stoneman Douglas High School shooting are top of mind as Thanksgiving approaches. On Monday, several Parkland families and a bipartisan group of lawmakers walked through the building where the 2018 deadly mass shooting took place. That building will be torn down next summer and one family says it could be cleared for demolition by Tuesday. Florida 24's Sophia Hernandez spoke to loved ones about what they hope lawmakers do next. I'm Sophia Hernandez outside of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, where congressional leaders, school staff, and families of the Parkland shooting are working to improve school safety. It's a community that lost someone. It's a family that's lost someone. In the early morning hours Monday, congressional leaders, local officials, and family members who lost loved ones in the Parkland shooting gathered to tour the 1200 building for a second and what will likely be the last time. Sometimes I think we're numb to the fact that, oh, it's another shooting that's happened. And when you go through the halls and you see the books and you see the personal items that were there, it kind of brings home the fact that these were people. They had a life. They, they're missed. Family members like Debbie Hickson, whose husband, Chris, was killed, are hoping the tragedy here can provide lessons learned. It's why, for a third time, they've gathered with this group to have a roundtable discussion. Whatever perspective you have before you go through, it is different when you when you leave. Congressman Jared Moskowitz, who helped to raise the age of purchasing a gun to 21 and put red flag laws in place, now sits as the vice chair of the Congressional Gun Violence Prevention Task Force. He says he only wants to expand on his previous work. Other leaders say it's a matter of making policies a reality. The question isn't what's the solution. We know what the solution is. The question is, do we have enough people with the courage to do it? And that's where these family members have done a tremendous job. For Hickson, discussion points are fixing reunification procedures and the consideration of a no-buy list. Hours of discussion by family members gave ideas to congressional leaders and peace of mind to those affected by gun violence. Sophia Hernandez, Florida 24 Network.